Captain, hello, Seymour. How are you today? <laughs> I, I'm doing quite well, thank you. I was wondering if you'd like to join me for dinner tonight? I'd love to, Superintendent Chalmers. What kind of food are you in the mood for? Uh, I was uh, thinking something Italian. Do you know any good places nearby? Sure. There's a great little Italian place down the street from my house. Would you like me to make a reservation for us? That would be lovely, Seymour. Thank you very much. My pleasure, Superintendent Chalmers. I'll make the reservation now and let you know when it's confirmed. Thank you again, Seymour. I'm looking forward to a delicious Italian meal tonight. Mrs. <laughs> Seymour, how do you like to spend your weekends? Well, on weekends I enjoy spending time with my family. We often go out for a nice meal or explore new places in the city. That sounds lovely. What kind of places do you like to explore? I love discovering new museums and art galleries. And my wife also enjoys trying out new restaurants, so we often go on a food adventure. That sounds like a wonderful way to spend your weekends. I... I burned the food again. Why does this always happen to me? What am I going to do? My crushie is burnt and I have that important meeting in an hour. I refuse to let this setback bring me down. Time to think outside the box and come up with a plan B. I'll find a way to make it work and prove that I'm not one to be underestimated. Hey, Skinner! Do you smell something? Yeah, I think it's just the kitchen smoke alarm going off. Are you sure? It seems like a lot of smoke for just a burnt toast. I don't know. Maybe it's something else. Let me check it out. I don't think that's a good idea. It looks pretty bad in there. What do we do then? I don't want to set off the fire alarm. <laughs> but what if it makes it worse? Well, at least we'll have fresh air then. You're ridiculous. I... I know, but we need to stay calm and figure out what to do. I'm sorry for the mess. I was just trying to make breakfast. It's all right. Let's just deal with this smoke, and hopefully it won't happen again. I promise. I'll be more careful from now on. This meal doesn't look right. Something's off. Oh, it's just the way the chef prepared it today. Don't worry about it. I can tell something is wrong. Can you taste it? No, I think it's just your imagination. Let's just eat it anyway. I don't think this is safe to eat. We should take it back to the kitchen and have them fix it. Relax, it's fine. Maybe you're just hungry. Let's just enjoy our meal. I can't shake this feeling that something is wrong. Do you want to taste it again? No, we don't need to waste our time with this. You're just being paranoid. I insist we check it. Something doesn't feel right. All right, if that's what you want, but I know better. What the hell is going on here? There's a fire in the kitchen. Oh, it's just a bacterial bloom. Don't worry about it. Uh, bacterial bloom? How could that happen localized in the kitchen? I don't know. Maybe it was a coincidence. <sighs> Can we please not make a big deal out of this? I want to see for myself. You can't just dismiss this. Fine, but don't say I didn't warn you. Hey, Skinner, lunch was great, right? Yeah, but I can't stop thinking about the house burning down. I don't know. It just seems strange. Well, I guess we'll never know. Anyway, it's getting late. You should probably head home. Yeah, I suppose. Take care of yourself. Definitely. Goodbye, Chalmers. Oh, uh, bye, Skinner.